Hello, hello, people. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Good, good evening. How are you? Hello. Welcome to this English class here on Zoom. It's nice to have you. We're going to have this beautiful day, which is Monday. Hello, hello. Okay, give me a minute hello. because... Oh, hello, good evening, mister. How are you? You good? Yeah, I am great. Oh, sounds great. It's nice to have you, everybody. And I hope good everybody evening. is okay at home. And we're going to have another class, as you may see here um soon just give me a minute while i get the material so we can start working on this one okay welcome welcome we're gonna start a section number four today it's nice to have you are you ready for today's class yes yes i'm ready oh that's wonderful yes how was your weekend was it good very good. Oh, sounds great, right? Sounds great. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, just let me get your names here so I can have them ready when I taste the attendant. The attendance, okay. Um, let me see. Okay. I'm going to get the material. Just get me a minute so I can have it ready. We're going to have class number nine today. Yes. That's the one we're gonna work. I hope that we can have as much time as possible so we can practice um this this thing. So just give me a minute so I can get uh, the material. Okay. Oh, this one. Uh, okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Thank you so much. Here we go. Okay, but, uh, okay, here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we have section number four, the biggest. The biggest and the best. That is the name of section number four, which is larger. That is the thing we're going to work today, right? We're going to talk about something like this, which is larger. So we're going to work with adjectives pretty much, right? Um, as you may know. To describe things. This is pre-intermediate English module number three, and this is class number nine. Yay. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I wish you the best, and I hope everybody is okay at home, happy and healthy, and for sure, be ready. We're going to stop it here, and we're going to have a video. So let me take some notes, because somebody wrote in the chat. Jose Antonio. Okay. Let me check that. Jose Antonio. Thank you, Jose Antonio. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, one more time. We're gonna work this week with this section. Section four is the one we are going to practice this week. Yes. Let's give me a minute while your classmates. Um okay, we're gonna start here. We're gonna have a video. Okay, before, let me check the chat. Okay, Gabriela, Noemi, thank you so much for letting me know. It's nice to have you and good evening. Okay, uh, we're going to start working with this material, people. Let's listen and watch and also take notes. Don't forget that. Welcome to one more section. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall, One more time, I need you to write the list of the vocabulary in your notebook so then I can uh, ask you about it. 
Yes. Yes, I will play the video one more time and I need you to write the list of the vocabulary and then I will ask you about it. Yes? Yeah. Perfect, one more time. Welcome to one more section. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach. Desert. Forest. Hill. Island. Lake. Mountain. Ocean. River. Valley. Volcano. Waterfall. listen one more time right now state the vocabulary in your notebook and then i will ask you so you can tell me what's the vocabulary in the video okay let's listen again welcome to one more section listen to the following vocabulary repeat it as many times as needed are you ready to learn new words listen first and then repeat each word Beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Thank you. Let's begin with you, Ursula Cornejo. Hello, Ursula. Good evening. Hello, Vinícius. Nice to have you. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Uh, okay. Uh, all mini? Yeah, all of them, please. Okay. Tell me A. B. Uh, tell me the oh, letter. Okay. A. a? B, B, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, the short, okay. Letter A, beach. Yeah. Letter B, the sword. Cierto. Letter C, both. Okay. Oh, just, just in B. English. Ursula, just in English, okay? Ursula? Okay. Yes, thank you. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't okay. Let A each letter B the sword. Let's see forest B heel E Islam F play B Montai A Ocean I River, J. Bal, J. Bolena, L. Waterfall. Thank you so much. Just be careful with mountain, mountain, letter G. Be careful with letter E, island, and also with letter B, because we have a desert, desert, okay? Sorry. Yes, very good, desert. Okay. Alejandra, hello, Alejandra Esmeralda Flores Hernández. Hello, hello. Here, teacher. Good Present evening. Teacher. How are Hi. you? I'm fine. Thank you. Sounds good. It's nice to have you. Do me a favor. Please tell me the vocabulary. Say the vocabulary, please. Beach, uh, this are S. Yes, say A, B, H, B. I, I can see. <laughs> oh, you didn't write it in your notebook? No, I, I didn't. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you so much, okay? You need to write it down in your notebook so, okay. so you, can, you can use that one. Thank okay. you. Okay, sorry, teacher. That's okay, no problem, okay? Uh, Gabriela Noemi Orellana. 
Hello, Gabriela Noemi. Hello, Mr. Good Noemi. evening. How are you? I'm fine. Sounds good. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Okay. A, beach. B, desert. Very good. And C, forest. D, hill. E, Iceland. F, lake. Mm. G, mount, mountain. H, ocean. I, river. Mm. E, valley. K, volcano. Air, waterfall. Thank you so much. Yes, don't forget, be careful mm. with pronunciation letter E, island. Pronunciation letter G, mountain. Pronunciation mm -hmm. uh, letter I, river. Uh, letter J, valley. Okay. Valley. Okay. Valley. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We're going to have a little bit of practice on this vocabulary. Here we have this information, geography. Tell me, what do you see here in the picture, Blanca Flores? What is this thing in the picture? Mm -hmm. What is the name of this place? Volcano. Volcano, right? It's a big volcano. Yeah, okay. How many volcanoes we have here in San Sa in El Salvador, Blanca? Uh, for example, Santa Ana. Santa Ana volcano. Very good. What mm -hmm. is another one? Uh, San Miguel. San Miguel's uh, volcano, very good. Isalco. Isalco, right? That is Son Sonate, I guess. Yes. And also San Salvador's volcano. We have one here in San Salvador. Oh. Very good. And what about this picture, Blanca? What is this thing? What is desert. the name? Exactly. We have a desert. desert. A desert. desert, right? Remember that we have dessert, which is something else, but this is a desert. Ah, desert. desert. Exactly like that. So what are we going to do? We're going to circle the correct word according to the context, right? For example, number one, this is a mountain with a hole on top. Smoke and lava sometimes came out. Good evening. Good evening. Come out. And it can be dangerous. So the description is about a volcano. volcano. Okay. So what about description number two? That is going to be for you. Maria Delmi, thank you. Tell me, please. Okay. Description number two, um, and then pick one option. Number two, this is a dry, sandy, sandy plate. It doesn't rain much here, and there aren't many plants. It's letter, it's letter A, desert. Oh, yes, it's letter A. We have a desert, right? A desert, yeah, that is correct. A desert, based on the description, is dry, sandy place. Sandy place. It doesn't yeah. range much. It's like El Salvador. <laughs> it doesn't rain much here. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. What about the May three? That is yeah. going to be for you. Ah, uh, let me see. Kenya. Hello, Kenya. Hello, teacher. Number three, please tell me. This is a low area of land between mountains or hills. Is letter A. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Try another one. <clears throat> Got it? Try. What is the other? We have B, C, and letter B. Which one do you think is the correct one? B. Letter B, a valley, right? A valley. Letter B is the correct one, okay? Very good. Look at, this is a, a low area of land between mountain and hills, right? So it's a valley. Okay, very good. Esmeralda Figueroa, good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Nice to have you. Number four, please. I don't know 
what que vamos a hacer porque ya acabo de entrar. Oh, let me tell you. You need to read the description, va a leer la description, right? Y luego, yes. select one of the options that goes related to the description. Yeah. Okay. Number okay. C. Primero okay. lea la description y luego me da la option, please. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. This is an area of water with land all around it. Um, see, lake. Lake, that is correct. Very good, right? Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado. Hello. Good evening. How are you? You good? I'm good, Edgardo. Please. Number five, please. Lea la description y luego deme una option. This is a flow of water that happens when a river falls from a high place. Number, uh, letter C, waterfall. Perfect. That's good. Yes, you see? A water flow. It flows water that happens when the river falls from a high place. So, a high place, right? And then we have a water flow. Number five is going to be for you, Angel Isaac. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, Angel is up. Number six, I'm sorry, number six is for you, Angel. Yes, can you do it? Can you participate? If not, let me work with Blanca, Estela, Lara, Lopez. Hello, Blanca. Good evening. How are you? Blanca. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you, Blanca? Terrible. Oh, I'm it's sorry. Horrible. Pero ahí vamos. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're still alive, right? I mean, what can I be do? We skip leave it. Oh, number six, please. Read the, the mm. description and then give me your answer. This is a lay large. ¿Cómo se dice? Así large. como lo dijo. Large. Large area of land that had lost of trees. On it. Thank you. Letter C. Letter C, a river? C, river. Okay, I'm sorry that it's incorrect. What about letter A and letter B? Letter B, letter B. Exactly, letter B, a forest. So if you see Blanca, the description says, this is a land at area that has a lot of trees. Yeah. Es que yo no entendí. Oh, okay. Tell me. When you when you do not understand, tell me so I can help you. Okay. Cinco de seis. <laughs> Remember that trees, trees, right, are these ones, right? Um, exactly. These are trees. Trees. Okay. Trees. Exactly, right? Trees. Plural. So we have a lot of trees. Yes. So, this is a large area, right? A large area that has a lot of trees. Yes? Very good. Thank you so much. And remember, if you do, if you have a mistake, that's no problem. We are learning. So, don't be afraid, right? If you got it wrong, just keep learning. Yeah? So, no problem at all. We're going to have this one as well, which is about vocabulary. We have canyon, canyon, desert, mm -hmm. Falls, mount, ocean, river, lake, and sea. Complete the names, use the word from the box. So this is the box, right? And we have these names. And we need to complete this information. For example, Lake Superior, Amazon, Grand, Atlantic, Mojave, Nigeria, Mediterranean, and Everest. Okay? But before we get into that one, question for you, Cindy Carolina. Hello, Cindy. Hello, how are you? I'm good. What about you? I'm good, too. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me, what is the, the name of this place here in the first picture, number one? Desert. And what about this picture here? What is the name of this one? Um, maybe I see a river, 
okay. don't know if it is a river. Okay. I think it is a maybe a valley. Oh, yeah, sounds pretty good to me. Thank you. Number two is for you. Go ahead. Mm, Amazon River. Very mm -hmm. good. Thank you so much. River. So we have the Amazon River, right? What is located the Amazon River? Brazil. Yeah, specifically South America, right? Because we have some countries like goes with this one. Not only Brazil, but we have, I think, Bolivia, a little bit of Venezuela, I guess, over there. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Gabriela Noemi, number three. Thank you. Okay. Number three, one moment. No, I'm sorry. No. no. Try another one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Try another one. Uh, no. See? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Try another one. Intent the other. Try another one. Round C. No, I'm sorry. No. Mm -hmm. Try another one. Mm. Ground force. No, I'm sorry. Try another one. Uh, can you? Excuse me. Can you? Can you? Yes, very good. That is correct. Canyon. Very good. La tercera es la vencida. Oh, yeah, you see? That's the way. Yeah, keep trying, mm -hmm. keep trying, and so you can get it. Very good. Grand Canyon, very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Luis, the next one is for you, Luis. Number four. Hi, good evening. Nice to have uh, you. Atlantic Ocean. Exactly. At Atlantic Ocean, very good. Right. Very good. Thank you so much. Yeah, we're going to have another one. That is you, Alejandra Elizabeth Duran, number five. Okay. My job. I miss my job. Um, job. Um, ocean? No, I I'm guess. sorry. Uh, Fault. No, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Can try. Okay. <laughs> That's okay, no problem. I'm sorry. Yeah. Desert. Oh, desert. desert. Very good. Yes, very good. That's okay. No problem, right? We're learning. Desert. Very good. Very good. What about number six? That is going to be for you. Yeah, let me see. Uh, Jose Antonio, number six, please. Thank you. Nigeria. Jose Antonio, hello. Can you participate? Yes or no? Okay. Sí. Can be false. Okay, let me say. Yes, false. Very good. Very good. Thank you. False. Thank you. Oh, Jesus, I forgot the letter S. Gosh. Okay. A year of false. Very good. Thank you. The last one is going to be for you. Oh, well, yeah. we have two more. Uh huh. Esmeralda? Sí. Sí. Oh, let me see. Yes, sí. Very good. In the last one, Mount. Mount. Yes, Mount. that is correct. Right. Very good. Mount Everest. Sí. And Mount 
Oh, oh, give me a minute. Mount Everest. Okay. Yeah. So this is the vocabulary, right? So we can say Lake Superior, Amazon River, Grand Canyon, Atlantic Ocean, Mojave Desert, Nigeria Falls, Mediterranean Sea, and Mount Everest. Okay. Thank you so much. We're going to get... Oh, I need to get the attendance. When you hear your beautiful name, please say present. Or I'm here. What do you mean? You're in a chat. Uh, okay. Okay. I will take the attendance. When you hear your beautiful name, please say present. Oh, I'm here. Let's begin with Alejandra Elizabeth Duran Ramos. Present. Thank you and welcome. Nice to have you. Alejandra Maria Mejia Velar. Alejandra Maria Mejia Velar. No, she isn't. What about Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez? Yes, teacher. Here I am. Thank you and welcome. Nice to have you. Ángel Isaac Cibrián Bonilla. Ángel, yes. thank you so much, Ángel. Good evening and welcome. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present, teacher. Thank you and good evening. Nice to have you. Blanca Estela Lara López. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Welcome. Nice to have you. Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado, Maldonado. Present, teacher. Gentlemen, good evening and welcome. Elba Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano. Present, teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you one more time. Welcome. Gabriela Noemi Orellana Tejada. Present, mister. Thank you so much. Nice to have you again. Jose Antonio Montes Fuentes. Jose Antonio. Okay, Jose, you wrote in the chat, right? Thank you so much for being here. It's nice to have you. Catherine, Joanna Casadilla Alas. Present teacher. Good evening. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you. Kenya Roxana Ayala de Velasquez. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Welcome. Thank you. Luis Miguel Mejia Alas. Present, sir. Gentlemen, nice to have you one more time. Maria Delmi Hernandez de Montoya. I'm here. Thank you so much for being here. It's nice to have you. Sandra Lisset Elizondo Merino. Good evening, Mr. Thank you so much. It's welcome. Nice to have you again. Cindy Carolina Cruz de Lopez. Here. Perfect. Nice to have you. Welcome. Ursula Yamilet Cornejo Martinez. Hello. I'm here. Thank you, Ursula. How are you? Um, yeah, I'm doing well. Oh, sounds great. It's nice I'm, to have. Honestly, I'm, I'm sick. Oh. I have terrible headaches. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry to hear that. I'm sorry. Be careful, people, because I think I, I heard that COVID is like uh, popping up, right? So it's going up. So be careful with that one so you don't get sick. We're going to have this conversation. I will play the audio so you can. Oh, I don't have audio here. Jesus. Oh, yes, I have it here. Okay. Let's listen to the audio and read the conversation. I love quizzes. Oh, look at this one. Oh, let me stop it here because this one is good. What is the meaning of I love quizzes, Luis Miguel Mejialas? I love quizzes. What is this thing about? Quizzes. Uh, I don't, I don't know, sure. Maybe, Maybe it's questionnaire. It's, oh. mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, like short, short questionnaires oh. or short, okay. let's say, exams, like between mm -hmm. five or eight. Yeah, it's a very like short test. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, Luis, you got it. That is right. Very good. Now, Luis, can you describe what do you see here in this picture? Thank you. Uh, is a woman with uh with her boy. <laughs> uh, in a, <laughs> uh, they are traveling in the airplane. Um, are they uh, happy? Are they are, happy? Luis? They are. They look happy. They look happy. That's true, right? Look at their faces. They look happy. It looks like they're having fun. Yeah. 
Thank you so much. Very good, Luis and everybody. Okay. So listen and read the conversation, okay? Unit 14. It's the coldest city. Page 93. Exercise 2. Conversation. I love quizzes. Part A. Listen and practice. This is one of the best airline magazines I've ever read. Oh, look, a quiz. Our world. How much do you know? Oh, I love quizzes. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? I know. Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the world? That's easy. It's the Amazon. All right. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay, one more. Which city is the most expensive, Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Unit 14. It's the coldest city. Page 93. Exercise 2. Conversation. I love quizzes. Part A. Listen and practice. This is one of the best airline magazines I've ever read. Oh, look, a quiz. Our world. How much do you know? Oh, I love quizzes. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? I know. Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the world? That's easy. It's the Amazon. All right. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay, one more. Which city is the most expensive, Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Okay, thank you. What is this conversation about? Maria Delmi Hernandez, please, go ahead. It's about quizzes. Uh, uh, yeah, and what are the questions yeah. about? It's about cities or city of the world. Um, Also, uh, many, many information the world about yes. the river and countries, countries have crowded space, spaces. Yes, that is correct. And expensive and, and expensive uh, cities. Yeah, that's right. You, you see random information about cities and countries, right? Very good. Thank you so much. I need you to save save the conversation, please. And if you can Teacher. send this conversation. Luis? Sorry. Uh, creo que aquí, no sé si yo estaba siguiendo lo mal. Cuando le dice, that's easy, is the night. En el traducción, en, la, en, la, en el audio decía Amazon. No. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah, same. It it says Amazon. It uh -huh. says Nile. It says Amazon. And it. Y in in the Amazon. audio, says Amazon. Yeah, that is right. It's yeah, Nile. Nile River. Yes, yes. 
That is right, Luis. Very good. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, so save save the picture. Save the picture, please. Uh, so we can practice this one in, in pairs or in trios in the breaker rooms. I will open the breaker room so you can have a little bit of chat with your classmates and practice this conversation. Yeah. Don't be afraid to practice, right? Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Listen to your classmates so you can hear the way they pronounce. So you can like repeat, right? And try to do it the same way. This is about doing it. And it doesn't matter if you do mistake, right? The idea is so you can have that confidence so you can practice little by little. Give me a minute while I open the breaker rooms. Uh, okay. Okay, here we go. Uh huh. Okay. Here in the main room, I need Alba Esmeralda, Jose Antonio Montes, well, just okay, Catherine Joanna Calzadilla, and Maria Delmi Hernandez de Montoya. You four stay here in the main room. Please. Los demás, please join the breakout rooms. Yes. One more time. In the main room, voy a tener a Maria Delmi Hernandez, Catherine Joanna. Alba Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano and Jose Antonio. So you can practice uh, the conversation here. The rest of you, please join your breaker rooms and practice the conversation. Okay, here we go. So Cindy, Angel, Andrea, Ursula, Sandra, Alejandra, Luis, Edgardo, Blanca, Blanca Esmeralda Flores, Kenia, Roxana Ayala de Velázquez, please join. Okay. So, uh, Esmeralda, Catherine, and Delmi, this is time for you to practice. I will give you um, the time so you can practice the conversation, okay? If you don't have the conversation, you can find find the conversation on WhatsApp group. Over there is available. Somebody sent it already. Okay. So uh practice, practice this conversation. Uh uh. -huh. Oh Jesus. Teacher me ha salido sin querer del room. <laughs> Lo siento. Okay. That's okay. You can practice here with your classmates, okay? Yep, no okay. problem. Let's practice you, Estela, and Maria Delmi, please. This I'm clear in your speed. Yes. <laughs> Or oh, you're clear. You are clear. You're clear. <clears throat> okay, I'm clear. Um, um, quizzes. This is one of the best airline magazine I ever have read. Oh, look at quiz. Our world. How much do you know? Oh, I love quizzes. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question, which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? I know. Australia is large, larger than Mexico. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the world? That easy. It's the Nile. All right, this is a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. More crowded. Really? Okay, one more. Which city is the most expensive, Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Thank you so much. I need to check one breaker room, so uh, I'm gonna leave you here so you can practice. Um, 
Okay. There is okay. 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 This is one of the best airline Messi I've ever read. Oh, oh, look, a quiz. Or what? How much do you know? Oh, I love quizzes. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question Which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? I know. Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the world? That's easy. It's the Nile. All right. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay, one more. Which city is the most expensive? Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Now I am clear. Okay. This is one of the best early magazines I ever read. Oh, look. Um, practice. Um, I am tired and you still. Okay. Okay. Let's start. Uh, this is one of the best airline magazine I've ever read. Oh, look, a quiz. Or what? How much do you know? Oh, I love quizzes. Ask me the questions. Sure. Fair question. Which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? I know Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the world? That's easy. Is the Nile? All right, here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay. One more. Which city is the most expensive? Hong Kong, London, or, or Paris? Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation. That was very good. We're going to wait for the rest of your classmates so they can join us. And I will hear a few participation from them. Very good. Okay. Um, nice job. Uh, we have a few mistakes in pronunciation. Be careful with the passes. Okay. So you can uh, pronounce it better. Uh, yes. So um, thank you so much for doing so. Okay. Thank you so much. Hello, hello. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, let me see. Okay, uh, I just have 16. Minus one, I have 15. Okay. Let me hear you, Luis. You are going to be a Steve. Your partner is going to be... Alejandra Elizabeth Durán, you are clear. Ready? Let's begin. I am Steve, right? Yes, okay. yes, please. Okay. Okay, this is one of the best airplay magazine I ever read or look a quiz or war. How much do you know? Oh, I love quizzes. Ask me the question. Ah, sorry. Ask me the question. Sure, for question. Which country is larger, Mexico or Austria? I know. Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay, next. What's the longer river in the world? That easy. It's the Nile. All right. Here's a hard one. 
Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay, one more. Which city is the most expensive, Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Very good. Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Andrea Esmeralda yes. Flores, you yes, are clear. In Kenya, Roxana Ayala de Velasquez. Okay. Kenya, you are still ready. Let's begin. This is one of the best airline medicine I've ever read. Oh, look, a quiz. Or what? How much do you know? Oh, I love quizzes. Quizzes. Ask me the question. Sure. First, first question. Which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? I know Australia is larger than Mex Mexico. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the world? That's easy. It's the Nile. All right. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? Um, I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay, one more. Which city is the most expensive? Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Crowded. Thank crowded. You. What is the meaning of crowded? Crowded. Crowded. Multitud de gente. Exactly. Very good. Like San Salvador town, right? Crowded. That's crowded. very crowded, crowded, right? Like Metro Centro, crowded. maybe Plaza Mundo, maybe Metro Centro San Miguel is very crowded. A lot of people, right? Yeah. Yes. Very good. We're going to have a little bit of the grammar part. I have a video for you. I need you to listen, watch, and take notes about it. 14. I I'm so sorry, I forgot. Part B. Part B. How many questions did Stephen get right? Let's listen. Page 93. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How many questions did Steve get right? So let's see how you did on this quiz. The first question. Which is larger, Mexico or Australia? You said... Australia. And you're right. Both are large, but Australia is larger. Next, what's the longest river in the world? You said the Nile. Sorry, that's wrong. It's the Amazon. Oh, of course. I knew that. This next question I didn't know. Malta is more crowded than England. So I got it right? I remember hearing that Malta is the most crowded country in Europe. And finally, you said that Paris is the most expensive city. Yeah, and it is, right? Sorry, Steve. Actually, Hong Kong is the most expensive of the three. Really? Wow, I guess I didn't do so well. Too right, but too wrong. No, come on. You did okay. So how many good? Oh, how many right sentences? Well, the questions. How many? Three. Two, two right. Two. And two wrong, right? Exactly, right? So two and two, two right and two wrong, okay? Very good. Thank you so much. Page nine. Now, let's listen and watch the video. Hello and welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. 
Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population, Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative, long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad. Worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Follow this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus the plus superlative adjective plus noun or object. Study the chart. Just as comparative adjectives in superlative form, we also have short, long and irregular adjectives, which you need to take into account when using them. Examples, he is the tallest of his family. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. Canada is the biggest country in North America. Can you write one sentence using good in its comparative form? Now write another sentence using good in its superlative form. Write both sentences in our discussion box. Okay, so what are we going to work here? We're going to work with comparative and superlative adjectives. ¿Qué son estas cosas? Well, son adjectives, right? ¿Para qué nos sirven? Este es el normal adjective, right? Yes. Este es el comparative. Y lo utilizo para comparar two things. Yes, for example, Australia is larger than Mexico. Ahí estoy comparando Australia and Mexico. Yes? Yes? Right? Entonces, el comparative me sirve para eso. Y tengo que tener cuidado porque hay unos que son long adjectives. More than three syllables, like beautiful, crowded, expensive. Estos, como son largos, le agregamos more. Malta is more crowded than England. So, siempre estoy comparing two places, Malta and England, Pero el adjetivo es largo, right? So crowded, es largo, entonces utilizo more. Y, yes. Y no le agrego esta ER. Mire, estos todos estos pequeños tienen ER al final, mire. Yes. Entonces lo que hago es que no le agrego, right? No le agrego ER a estos de aquí. Estos de acá de abajo son irregulares, irregulars. Esto lo vamos a ver, right? Y con los superlativos, el superlativo me permite... Comparar siempre, pero entre un grupo de people, o de places, o de things, right? Entonces, eso lo comparo entre el grupo. For example, Russia, I'm sorry, Russia is the largest country. De todos los countries in the world, Russia is the largest. Yes, entonces lo comparo con todos, right? 
Y también tengo uh, beautiful, crowded, and expensive, que son largos, y utilizo most. Malta is the most crowded country in Europe. Entonces, aquí el grupo es Europe, y estoy comparando Malta with the rest. Yes, right? Aquí con los comparative, utilizo than, después, right? Siempre tengo que utilizar de esta palabra, than, ok, que es esta que está acá, right? Y con los superlatives utilizo the al principio. The, ok. The, the. Con los superlatives. Ok. Any question about this? Any question about this? People at home? ¿Alguna pregunta de esto? ¿Tienen alguna question? Mm -hmm. No. No, mis. No questions? Ok. Estos de acá son irregulars. Con los irregulars, sí, be careful, porque cambia todo. Estos no llevan reglas, man. Good, better. Bad, worse. Good, superlative, the best. And the worst. Hay otros más que ya los vamos a ir viendo, but these ones are the basic ones. Okay? Let's see if we can have a little, some examples before we end the class. Um, let me see. Okay, use the comparative form, adjectives plus ER more adjectives, to compare to things, people, or places. Which river is larger, the Nile or the Amazon? The Nile is larger than the Amazon. And then that with superlative, to compare three or more people, places, and things, right? It's the same information. We're going to have this exercise, right? Write questions with the words, then look. And underline the words or write the answer. For example, primero vamos a escribir una question with this vocabulary, right? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la question? Uh -huh. Which island? Which island? Which island? Which island? Which island? Is larger. Exactly. Is larger. Is larger. Okay. Greenland. New. New Guinea. Larger. Larger. Greenland. New Guinea. Guinea. New Guinea. New Guinea. Or Hoshu. Hoshu. Okay. Okay, this says Greenland, which are large, large Greenland, Guinea, or this is, is this comparative or superlative? Um, superlative. superlative. Oh, entonces nos quedaría, which island is? The most. No, no, no. ¿Cuál es el adjetivo? The most. The most. The largest. The largest. The largest. Very good. The largest. The largest. Greenland. Okay. In Greenland. Very good. I'm sorry. Green. Land. Okay, I'm sorry, my mistake, my mistake, my mistake, my mistake. Okay, oopsie. Oopsie, okay, Greenland, what else? New, New Guinea, Guinea, right? New Guinea. Or Hoshu. Yeah. Or Hoshu. Or, or Homsu. Or, or Homsu, I guess, right? Yes. Entonces, ¿por qué esta es superlative y no es comparative? Because hay three. Exactly, three very good. Porque country. hay más de dos, right? Acuérdense que el comparativo solo es para dos, right? Y aquí tengo Greenland, New Guinea, and Hampshire. Uh -huh. So I have three. three. Como tengo más de dos, es superlative. Which island is lar the largest? Okay. Y... Basado en la información que tenemos, ¿cuál sería the largest? Greenland. Uh, Greenland. Oh, very Greenland. 
Greenland. Yes. Yeah. The largest. The largest. Very good. Yes. Is the largest. Right. Very good. Greenland is the largest. Very good. Entonces, ¿qué tengo que identificar primero? Si la sentence o la question va a ser comparative o superlative. Y luego, answer the information like this one. Okay. Unfortunately, the time is over, as you may see. So that means that we need to go to sleep, rest, go to work tomorrow, and then we can practice a little bit more here in class. Okay. okay. Thank you so Thank much, you. everybody, for being here. Bye. See you tomorrow. So we can you. tomorrow on this one. Good night. Bye -bye. Take care. Good night, everybody. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody.